Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and obviously you could improve your art skills while I was away. At least you could improve more than I could. So as a little heads up, you can skip to whatever time mark I'm going to make in order to get to the part where I actually talk about the art styles and whatever else I'm going to talk about. I don't know yet. But if you are so highly interested in what's going on in general, then you can just stick around and wait for the art style part. Now anyway, I think everyone who does not want to hear anything about me in general and what was happening is probably already gone or further ahead in the video. For those of you who stayed, I said I was going to be gone for a while, and that was true. Because I was gone. I went to Germany to Gamescom. Maybe that name will tell you something if you're German, and if not, then you probably never heard of it. But it's basically just a big con where games and movie makers and stuff show their things and you can buy all kinds of weird shit. That's about it. That's where I uh, was. And now that I'm back home in Switzerland, I can continue to entertain, hopefully, maybe. By the way, have you noticed that I do not use a script anymore? I just talk while getting my thoughts straight and my stutter is showing very much. I hope you like it, because I'm probably gonna keep at this. This way I can train better to speak more fluently. And keep in mind, you're you're getting the cut-down version without the erms and one-minute-long pauses, so it's worse than you think. Now oh, anyway, the premise is I was gone, I'm back, and I'm still busy, because in February there's like a huge thing for me, and I have to prepare for that. But the good news is that you have survived the unloading of information from generally what was happening with me, what is happening with me, and we can now start with the actual video about art styles. So as you hopefully could see in the background, I've been making some drawings about a little kid holding a fox. I hope that was apparent, because if not, then I gotta reconsider my job choices. So, the girl in, in... not in the fox, the girl with the fox. I'm pretty sure the video is going to be already at a stage where I'm drawing her in a different style than just semi-realistically. Which is exactly what this video should be about. Having an art style is something nice, but not something that you have to have, especially if you just start out. If you start out, I'm very sure you have some artists that you really like and like look up to, and obviously you would like to have a similar art style, at least in most cases. And what you want to do to kind of find your own art style, if you are really looking for it, learn the basic fundamentals of drawing and then just draw. Like, draw something that you want to draw without a reference of an artist that you particularly like. The best way to do that is to get a reference from real life. And then you iterate the stuff the way you want. You can still make choices like the artists you like. You could make the choice that you stylize your character or prop or environment like an artist that you like, and stylize the trees of your environment like another one. And then you try to make it coherent, and bam, you've got your own art style inspired by those that you like. Obviously, this sounds much simpler than it actually is. It takes a huge amount of time and dedication and research and well, just drawing to finally find the thing that you are looking for. But you should definitely know that, especially when you're beginning with art, like with any kind of art, be it concept art or you want to be an illustrator or an animator, you don't need a particularly 
refined art style of your own. The best thing that you can do is study other art styles, as in redrawing them, sometimes tracing them. Just don't go publishing the traced drawings as your own, obviously. And with that, you can learn really a lot about this art style in particular. And through that learning process, you learn a lot for your own art style. A huge win with that learning method of multiple different art styles is that you obviously learn how to draw in that kind of art style. And as it is at the moment, it is definitely not a bad trait to have if you can draw in multiple art styles, no matter what kind of career you want to take, even if it's just a hobby. Switching up art styles is something that's just nice to do. A good change of pace. A change of scenery, literally. Now, what I want to say with that is that no matter how long it takes, like if you think you don't make any progress in getting your own art style, first of all, you do make progress, even if it's not apparent. And second of all, it takes such a lot of time of pure drawing like and drawing different things in multiple styles also that the change is just so slow we almost don't recognize it it's the same with your like drawing ability from the fundamentals you improve but you don't really get it until you look at a drawing from a year ago because the more you learn the less click moments you will have where you you know where something clicks in your brain and you're like oh my god i get it i get it now and now you can do it there's just going to be less of them and more of this slow crawling improvement and that's exactly what is happening to your art style as well there might be some click moments where you think oh my god this art style is so cool i really want to draw in that kind of fashion and then well, you start doing it just to have this slow crawling curve of improvement over a lot of time that you almost can't like make out from simply looking at your drawing that you're doing now and the drawing that you did last week. So I really like want to put it to your heart that even if you're like frustrated and not happy with where you are now, don't give up because whatever you do, even if you just watch some videos about art, there's still like some kind of information. If you actually like actively watch and listen to them, you will retain some information that you can use to further improve your skills. And as said, like if you're like not super happy with where you are right now, then I can only recommend you one guy. He's also on YouTube. He's a super chill guy from the looks of it. Like I've never met him or something like that. But he gives me like kind of these old man vibes that I get from myself sometimes. As in vibes that he's like, you know, he's super chill and you can just talk to him like in a deep manner. And I think he like, like, I think that's apparent when you watch one of his videos. The guy that I'm talking about is Adam Duff and his channel is called, I think it's called Adam Duff from Lucid Pixel, but I'll have it linked in the description. I highly recommend that you check him out. He's super chill and has like a lot of good advice for mental health and also improvement. And yeah. That's about it. Uh, this uh, little art style video has turned into mental health improvement and checking your skills video. I hope that even if I swayed away from the theme, it was still kind of entertaining to listen to, at least. Now, have a nice rest of the day or evening or whatever it is, and happy drawing.